<laughs> what are we doing? Hi, Arius. What's going on from my Arius? Welcome to Kalila Joy. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. Arius, this is your turn for your pop up love reading. Um, I got the camera kind of facing more down for you can see the cards more. And plus, I look like a hot mess. I used to record in the daytime, but I don't know. The spirit was talking like, we need to go ahead and put some on out there. It's time for your Aries. And I think Taurus and Gemini. Okay, I already say just prayed over cards. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Spirit guys. We this is for my area, Sun Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Um, we caught on the white light of protection over these messages. Tell me to deliver these messages with the highest integrity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is what is the move for our areas? What's going on? What areas? And their person that they're watching this video about. Okay, Aries. We got envy. I am the same as everybody, but with a different challenges. So someone out there is envying you. It fell out in a reverse, and all reverse cards karmic energy. So you probably got some karmic out there that envies you that um, either you are dealing with or your person is dealing with. They need to realize that they are the same as everybody, but with different challenges. We all have our challenges. So we got envy and guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul growth. So you and or your person is dealing with some envy or some guilt, period. So, or the person, your karmic or your person's karmic is currently envying you. Go oh, straight into the tarot. They, it, oh, maybe because you got the Ace of Cups. Someone wants to offer you this love offer. And you're probably going to have some people that's jealous or going to envy this situation. Maybe that's what Spirit wants us to know. But who gives a fuck? Ain't that right, Aries? Or you probably just recently got married or engaged. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Aries! Some big new love offer is coming from your person. Or you are in, currently in love and it's a Ten of Pentacles and you got some haters. You got some haters, haters, haters. Who gives a fuck? All right. So you're going to have to deal with some envy, but oh well. What else going on for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node? It's a blank card. Aries person. Oh, you and your person. Oh, yes. This person see you as a star. You see them as a star. This is so positive, Aries. This person, um, if you're not with this person, and this know that some type of um, higher level commitment, Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups out here, this person want to heal something with you. If you're not already already with this person, and you got some people that envies this shit, Nine of Cup, yeah, Emperor in Reverse, yes, this person, um. If you're not with currently with this person, or if you with someone and you're and this is your ex, they envy your new love offer or your new proposal. You may be engaged. So be aware. Somebody's ex-wife or aunt or ex-husband, baby mama, whatever, that's in reverse is hating. But you looks like the outcome. Somebody gonna king of swords that ass. Don't let this bitch try you, Arius. They envy you, but they know that you will cut their motherfucking head off if they come with you with that bullshit. Or you're going to have to speak some type of truth and chop somebody's head off. Um, and your person's energy, the Nine of Cups, yes, they're coming in slowly, but they're coming in to offer this Ace of Cups. They want some type of uh, family with you. 
and some emperor from the past. Oh my God. Some emperor or empress that's in reverse from the past. I believe that's the envy. Queen of Swords, we got a pair. <laughs> Maybe both of y'all gonna have to check check some bitches and hoes and motherfuckers. They come try to come at y'all with that bullshit. Maybe, maybe both of y'all, y'all gonna have a lot of people, or you currently got a lot of uh, secret haters about this love connection. Oh, well. <laughs> I hope Sierra ass ain't lost. Because she just called me. My friend just called me. She ran and got something to eat right quick. I was like, you know what? I want to do a reading. Yeah, so you got some people out here about to be hate like a motherfucker, Aries. Oh my God, this person offer seems genuine. They want to heal something with you. Um, but you got your blockages. So if we, what Spirit wants you to know, this envy is coming from this emperor and or empress in reverse. Could be an ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife or husband, baby daddy or whatever. Probably friend, father, family member, whatever. You know how this go, apply how the story goes. And they've been talking shit. So it looks like you got another pair here. It looks like you and your um significant your person gonna have to put some hoes in check. Flat out. Chop them off. You know, the King of Swords got the blood down here. Looks like you being a um a little softer approach about this. But yeah, you got some haters out here. But who cares? Because I think this is beautiful. Let's see what these haters are you karmic people why do they what are what what do they envy what's going on with this emperor in reverse this is the karmic tales by your inner chakra she lives in her channel she's a very very beautiful woman i think and a wonderful uh light worker okay this person is emotionally unavailable if you're not with this person, they're dealing with this empress or emperor in reverse, or they become an emperor in reverse and they're married, they don't see any magic in a situation. They are absolutely emotionally unavailable to, to this person. They're dealing with this emperor in reverse is also a narcissist. I'm going to take one more. Uh, they probably know that you're a tarot reader, so they probably be watching you. <laughs> or they probably know that you had, or they probably seek a tarot reader or some type of spiritual advice. And um, mm, mm, mm. I'm just gonna put this on over here like that, that there, for we can have a little bit more room. This emperor, or empress in, in reverse, soon to be, or is ex wife or husband, or this could be a father or a mother figure. They know. I, they probably went to a tarot reader and found out about this Ace of Cups or this new love offer that they are offering you. But if you are already in this situation, know that you got some narcissistic people that's probably trying to do some fucking magic and probably seek tarot going on that dark side. We don't do dark over here. We buying that right now and we send that right back and return the sender. Yeah, your person wants you to know they gave their power away to this person, but no more. And it looked like you gave your power away to somebody once upon a time and no more. No more. It looks like both of y'all are trying to stand up for this situation. Let's see what else is going on. What is it that you and um your person, because you got a matching pair, a queen and a king of swords. What's, what's going on? We're going to see if we can get some more messages. Why the envy? Why, why is Arius and Arius person is going to have to look like y'all going to have to stand up for y'all Motherfuckers is some narcissist. Somebody is all stalking you and your person. They done suck tarot reader. They done try to do some black magic. That shit don't work. I keep telling people that that dark shit don't work because eventually got to come to the light. You need that dark shit alone. We don't do dark shit. Oh, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Tell us more about this. What did the tarot reader say to this emperor, King of Cups? <laughs> King of Cups in reverse. This person ain't no love. King of Cups is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio card. This person has been uh, 
very distant and probably uh, nasty to this person because they don't want to be there. What? And they know that, um, okay, that this person, though, the tarot to read the tone, they don't see them as the sun. They don't see them as told the karmic in this situation that they are not, or they realize that they are not the wish fulfillment. Oh, wow. <sighs> what is this narcissist in reverse? Yes. This karmic don't want this to end with the death in reverse, but you cannot stop destiny. And then when you do try to stop destiny, man, that's between you and God. I don't give a damn what tarot reader or what magician that you trying to see to stop. So you cannot stop destiny. I don't know why people even waste their time with that dark magic shit. Ooh, Jesus. Um, Queen of Wands, yes. Tara Rita told him that um, your person wants to go be with this Queen of Wands. You know, the confident, moving forward, business woman, independent woman, probably work out, you know. And your person has been totally emotionally unavailable. If, you, if your person is still dealing with this karma and trying to separate from this bullshit and heal some, they're slowly coming in to offer this cup. And you're gonna have a lot of envy and a lot of hate. A lot of people do not want to see you people uh, see y'all together. Any more messages, spirit? Again, who gives a fuck? Six of Swords. Yes, your person want to move forward with this key to, uh, with this Queen of Wands, Three of Wands. They they're waiting on some type of ships to come in, or probably waiting on that paperwork or some type of. Uh, go but somebody's been seeking tarot reading <sighs> five of swords it's always some fighting and arguing po babies look at these babies they tired of these they tired of these motherfuckers fighting and shit and arguing and shit they tired of that shit the higher friend the god is here though so whatever magic that these people are trying to get do, God is God trumps it, and and, it, and it's not going to prosper. And so far, this is beautiful. Who gives a fuck? It's always going to be haters, but you really got some people out here, and some narcissistic and selfish ass people do not want to see this person or your person, you and this person happy. But it looked like y'all gonna stand up together. Y'all gonna stand up and. And, and and kick ass, take names. He looking for it and she got his back. Right. She's look like she's trying to be, you know, going to try to communicate. And, you know, try to, um, you know, call the truce with these people. But this King of Swords, I believe, which is the masculine energy at a point where he don't really give a fuck. He tastes some blood. He don't even really give a fuck no more. He's tired of arguing with this karmic or these karmics. Yeah. But, yeah, you got some people hating on your new relationship or new, soon to be new relationship. And it's most likely the exes. All right, we're going to go into the Mystic Bees for communication and non communication. Well, this is for, I like this, this is my part when I like, if you're not in communication with your person and they over here dealing with a karmic and fighting with them and all that, da 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 and this person about to slowly come in, what do they want to say to you? Because if y'all have not been in communication. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out. Aww. What else? What else do your person wants to say to you? Oh, I just don't need... Somebody didn't come home. I never meant to hurt you. Aww. I never meant to... This is for those who are not currently in union with their person. Oh, uh, this person said they got too many responsibilities. That's probably what... Uh, this man and woman fighting over it look like they're fighting over money probably dealing with a yeah, selfish ass person use money to try to control people 
<laughs> Ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> this person wants to come see you. They want to reach out to you, but they afraid of uh, how you be on. That's right. They probably the ones who's been seeking tarot reading to see where your mind at. Okay. They see you as a life partner. I like to match up the colors. Too many responsibility. I know you deserve more. So this karmic love or aunt or situation is probably trying to take them for their paper. I need to talk to you, but I'm afraid to reach out because I traded in gold for Chuck E. Cheese coins. This bitch probably is a thief and a liar and a user. And they never meant to hurt you. They see you as a, a life partner and ain't nobody come and see you, Otis. I think this person, um, they is slowly coming in to see you, but they're probably waiting on you for you to reach out first. They're probably uh, afraid. But with the King and Queen of Swords, it looks like you both going to speak your truth and have some type of conversation. If you only knew how much I love you, and I'm jealous. Well, I don't think the kind of jealousy is in that kind of way, but like envy. Envy is some type of dysfunction or whatever. It's, <laughs> you know, that's something that ain't got nothing to do with you. That's that's an insecurity that you cannot deal with. So, let's see if we can get some advice from my angels. See if we can get any more type of clarity for my areas. Yeah, areas. But it looks like you just recently got engaged. For those who are engaged or in union with that person. And you got some people that's hating, baby. Yeah. That's fucked up. Your thing motherfuckers will be happy for you. Oh, it says you're ready, Red Aries. You are ready. Be assertive. Looks like you need to be assertive with this person. And trust the process. And no need to worry. Alright, Aries. That was your pop-up love reading. Thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Kalila Joy. The name of my channel is Joy Says Healing 22. Fuck these haters and these bitches and hoes and motherfuckers. That's okay. You got your true love and you got some people hating. Or when you come into union, when your person is done, done with this karmic that they're dealing with. Or whatever. Be aware of this bitch. Now, I'm not saying for you to be afraid. afraid. You ain't got to be afraid of shit. You ain't afraid of nobody, okay? Your, your spirit guys and God got you. And what is meant and ordained, can't nobody stop it. And anyone who try to come in between that it shall be blocked or receive some type of karma. So leave people alone. And they, um, free will. The hell? Magic don't work. Better ask somebody. <laughs> All right, thank you again. I love you all. Everybody want to call and interrupt. Yeah, there's probably some family and friends that's secretly envying or whatever. And you're going to have to check some motherfuckers. All right, Aries, I love you. I need to call these people back. They're getting on my nerves. Everybody always want to call and do something. Yeah, this is the family and friends that's doing this bullshit. Don't you let them make you let you feel guilty. You might feel guilty, a little grief, a little lonely. Or your person is feeling guilty and, and grieving and lonely. They want to come see you, but they're afraid to reach out to you. If you are the other end of this, if you're a cross watcher, I say reach out to the areas. Because with the king and queen of swords on the upright, it looks this is a couple. And it looks like y'all going to be on the same page. And this person is going to be willing to listen and heal this situation with you. All right, please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, and I will talk to you later. Hey, Rosie.